Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So welcome back to a, another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the NARS Claudette collection, I believe, and the Claudette collection via NARS. This was given as PR. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. If you want to see the full face look, I will leave a link in the description to head over to my Instagram to see that. Um, it should be up the same day. This should be up Sunday, I believe. Um, so yeah, if you want to see what my thoughts are on the collection, get this stunning collection in the mail. So if you want to see what my thoughts are, then please keep on watching. So, um, like I just showed you, I'm not going to lift it up again because that damn package was heavy actually you know what i'll show you this is the collection you probably can't even see it because of my lighting and um, that we have going on it is absolutely gorgeous when i saw the packaging and i saw the shades and i saw all the information i was wowed by this collection and i was so grateful to have it in my possession so it is available at cult beauty currently i would have thought it would be at selfridges but clearly it's just at cult beauty um it is available now um for you guys i don't have any more information about pricing and whatnot but i'll see if i can get some stuff on like some information for you while we go along the video gorgeous claudette honestly oh, she looks absolutely stunning here when i saw this collection i was wowed by it so yeah i just want to get straight into it we have an eyeshadow look we have some lips we have a cute little blush palette so let's get straight into it so first of all we're going to talk about the actual eyeshadow palette because that is for me i think the highlight of this collection yes the lips are gorgeous but i do love a nars eyeshadow palette that is what the packaging of the palette looks like um it is really really gorgeous i have never had any issues with nars palettes i've never really had issue with any of nars products like nars is one of those brands that just performs really well here we have this palette so this is the eyeshadow palette we have going on it is absolutely stunning that is what it looks like we've got some gorgeous gold silvery and it's not glitterish but it's this sort of lovely shimmer we've got a really nice array of dark warm tone shades it is magnificent i created sort of this like for those that didn't want to go pink for valentine's i know we can't really leave our houses but for those that didn't want to go pink for valentine's i did a cute little um golden brown smoky with a red lip that is always lovely for valentine's as well it's very sexy it's very sultry i love it um so yeah so this is the eyeshadow palette it, for six shades 36 pounds it is a little bit expensive but it's worth the splurge i personally feel anyway this is a limited edition eyeshadow palette that features six warm neutrals in a range of finishes that's bound to capture your imagination and heart i love the fact that in this palette there is a different types of textures formulas you've got shimmer you've got a little bit more chunky glittery shimmer like metallic you've got more of your mattes and um, i have absolutely had no issues with any blending so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you an in-depth tutorial on the eyes so taking the palette the shades will be on the screen we're taking this first shade and we're sort of packing this on near the outer corner but not near the outer corner near the middle and then to deepen that we're going to go in with this next shade which is absolutely gorgeous these come off sort of like a satin matte rather than a matte and then we're going to take this gorgeous gold shimmer which i literally packed on without spritzing my brush and then we're going to take that first shade again and just bring that on the lower lash line before adding a cute little shimmer in the inner corner Moving on, we next have the Claudette Cheek Duo. Um, now, I'm gonna, I have a few things to say about this one. This one retails for £37, so it's a pound more expensive than the eyeshadow palette. Now, personally for me, I think if you are of medium skin tones and darker, this probably won't suit you or fit your shade. I feel as if if you are in the fairer range of your light and maybe slightly medium, it will pop up on you, but very very gently this has popped up it's not too out there i think if you're an intense blush lover you probably want to avoid this um i don't really uh, this shade for me personally had no use on my skin it's not that it's terrible it just didn't show up on me um, and for those that are wondering in nars i am the shade sahel so if you're any medium tan type of shade this is probably something you want to avoid it might be a nice everyday blush where it's very 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 subtle especially this shade if you want it to be very very subtle then it will probably pop up but um it is ever so slight it has this satin finish so it's not really a matte i don't have any highlighter on it gives you that slight glow it is nice but personally is it something i'll use again probably not i'm not saying it's bad it's just something that i would probably wouldn't really go for i prefer other nars products like the nars orgasm the nars orgasm x those type of blushes are personally my fave compared to this one it's a little bit of a miss for me but i know for a lot of other people it won't be a miss so yeah i do recommend this just if you've got deeper or warmer skin tones like a little bit 
bit more further down the shade range rather than being like fair or light then you're going to want to avoid this one you do get a decent amount of product you do get 22 grams of product i believe so this is more of your natural looking i know it says on the cult beauty website as well and i agree it's very much your natural looking i am more a little bit more intense with makeup i like it to um sort of shape and define my face sometimes and i like the creativity element so if i wanted this more on my natural days where i'm literally just popping on a bit of concealer a bit of mascara and i want to add a little pop of color this will ever so slightly do that it's just very natural looking next we have four audacious lipsticks from nars i absolutely love their audacious lipsticks they are gorgeous i'm of 4.2 grams of product they retail for 26 pounds there is four shades available i've never had any issues with nars lipsticks are they worth the splurge 100 so we have the four shades going on we have leah we have jeanette we have Augustine and then we have Claudette. Now, I do apologise if these shade names, I pronounce them wrong. This is supposed to be Leah, which is a neutral spiced rose. This is really, really gorgeous shade. Um, definitely something I could see myself wearing on my more like sultry glam type of day. We next have the shade Claudette, which is this red rusty shade. Again, absolutely gorgeous. I could have used this today, but I didn't. I wanted a little bit more of a muted red. This is gorgeous. This shade looks absolutely magnificent. I think a lot of people will love this shade. So again, that's the shade Claudette. We then have the shade Augustine, your taupe nude. So this again is going to look really stunning. I think a lot of fair skin tones would look gorgeous with this, but loads of other skin tones as well, of course. But yeah, this is that taupe nude color so if you're into your topes i might even try this i'd never find that taupe suits me so i might just pass on that one and the last shade that we have is the shade jeanette which is a deep red brown this is gorgeous like oh my god i can just see really grungy or just everyday like really gorgeous looks and you want a slight like even like a shimmer on the eye and then you want to pop on the lip this would be absolutely stunning so yeah that is the shade jeanette I recommend them of course i haven't tried them personally but i have tried other nars audacious lipsticks and i always even whether they're the lipsticks or the lip colors or the crayons i always recommend nars products i just wanted you to show you the shade on camera rather than um as like a picture so you guys can sort of see what you want we then have the audacious sheer i believe we have the audacious sheer matte lipsticks these again are 26 pounds difference with these these contain slightly less product this has 3.5 rather than the previous ones which contain 4.2 it's a new soft focus finish each swipe delivers delicate color with a medium sheer coverage and a petal soft powder finish um so there are five but i have six here very interesting okay i believe again i'm going to butcher these names but i think the first shade we have is anias Oh, a nice. I, I, I'm so sorry. So we have here the first shade, like I said, which is a pink nude shade. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at that. It is stunning. And it has this really like soft velvety look to it. I think this is definitely, they're very comfortable. I've got one of the shades on today, which I'll describe in a moment, but it's very comfortable. Um, there, it transfers, so just be wary of that, but it's lovely on the lips. Like my lips are the driest things on this earth and these hold up and moisturize really, really well. Next shade we have is actually the shade Matilda, which is my middle name, um, which is described as a rose beige shade. Again, stunning absolutely stunning i definitely see myself wearing this shade it is gorgeous highly recommend it's just an absolutely stunning shade sometimes you can look at a shade and you just know you don't even have to swatch it next this next shade we have is a shade sylvie which is described as a berry red um i see it it's not like too much of a red it's very very muted but it's gorgeous as well it's definitely like your berry cherry red so i think for those this that's another gorgeous shade shade berenice which is a warm brick red i believe this again very very gorgeous i always love nars reds nars reds are probably one of my favorites they're just well put together they're well designed the formulation is lovely so yeah this is the shade berenice then we have the shade sandrine which is the shade i use today which is described as a scarlet red now i totally agree with that it is stunning if i come up close and just show you it is a gorgeous good well done well done i knew sometimes doing tutorials like this would be too good to be true but it is a stunning shade. Very, very comfortable, creamy, soft. I did go in the lip liner, but I feel as if with these, you don't exactly have to use a lip liner. So yeah, very, very nice shade. They sent me two of one color, which is kind of them, I guess. So those are all the shades for you. Um, overall, I think this collection is beautiful. I really, really do. I think I recommend practically everything from it. Um, I think um, 
it's got a little bit of everyone you've got your depth you've got your reds you've got your normal like nudie type of colors and you don't what i like is it doesn't have like a classic nude it doesn't have that particular like beige orangey tone nude like they've scrapped that and i love the idea of this collection and i also have noticed that the eyes and the face and the lips have all complemented each other sometimes a collection comes out and you can sort of pick out one look but i can come up with so many looks even though there's only sh six shades in a palette i can still come up with quite a lot of content so yeah so overall this collection is absolutely stunning i don't really have much else to say really but yeah would i recommend it 100 just look at that packaging like the packaging is just absolutely gorgeous it's just everything to die for and um, i just love it really so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was somewhat helpful i know a lot of you probably wanted swatches and things like that but yeah um, i wanted to just show you what they'd look like in person and whatnot and i just didn't have the time with my lips that were going to be really crusty dusty to do swatches for you but if you'd like a swatch video please head over to my instagram pop or pop me a comment in the comment section and i'll do a little swatch session on my instagram for you so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in my next one bye